Zach Bagans is a well-known paranormal investigator and the host of the popular television show, Ghost Adventures. In 2018, Zach purchased the infamous Devil's Rocking Chair, a haunted artifact that is said to be cursed and responsible for causing harm and even death to those who come into contact with it. The chair originally belonged to the late Ed and Lorraine Warren, famous paranormal investigators and demonologists who investigated some of the most famous hauntings in history. The chair is said to have been used during an exorcism conducted by the Warrens and is believed to be possessed by a powerful demonic entity. After acquiring the chair, Zack placed it on display in his haunted museum in Las Vegas, where it quickly became one of the most popular exhibits. However, in late 2019, Zack announced that he was closing the exhibit and removing the chair from public view. The reason for this decision was reportedly due to the negative effects that the chair was having on visitors and museum staff. People who came into contact with the chair reported feeling nauseous, dizzy, and even physically ill. Some visitors claimed to have had terrifying nightmares after being in the same room as the chair, while others experienced unexplained injuries. In addition, Zack and his team reportedly experienced strange occurrences in the museum, including unexplained power outages and equipment malfunctions, which they believed were directly related to the presence of the Devil's Rocking Chair. As a result, Zack made the decision to close the exhibit and remove the chair from public view, stating that he did not want to risk further harm to himself, his team, or museum visitors. The chair remains in Zack's possession, but it is kept in a secure location and is not accessible to the public. The story of the Devil's Rocking Chair and its alleged curse is a fascinating and chilling example of the power that some haunted objects can hold. While skeptics may dismiss the chair's purported effects as mere coincidence or suggestible thinking, the fact remains that numerous people have reported negative experiences after coming into contact with it. As such, the Devil's Rocking Chair remains a cautionary tale for those who seek to delve into the world of the paranormal and supernatural. Zack reported that one of the most haunted places that he investigated was that of the Goatman's Bridge. Goatman's Bridge, also known as Old Alton Bridge, is a historic iron truss bridge located in Denton County, Texas. It was built in 1884 to connect the cities of Denton and Copper Canyon. The bridge has gained notoriety in recent years due to reports of paranormal activity and legends of a mysterious figure known as the Goatman. The legend of Goatman's Bridge dates back to the early 20th century. According to the legend, people have reported strange occurrences around the bridge, including sightings of a shadowy figure with glowing eyes, disembodied voices, and ghostly apparitions. Paranormal shadow people are a phenomenon that has been reported by many people over the years. These beings are described as dark, shadowy figures that seem to move in and out of people's peripheral vision. They are usually seen in places where there is little or no light, and they often have no discernible features or details. While the existence of shadow people is up for debate, many people believe that they are a real phenomenon, with some paranormal researchers believing that shadow people are the result of the human mind trying to make sense of something that is beyond its ability to comprehend. One theory is that shadow people are a type of ghost or spirit that is trapped in our world. They may be the result of someone who has passed away and is unable to move on to the afterlife. Others believe that shadow people are beings from another dimension or universe that are able to cross over into our world. Some people who have encountered shadow people report feeling a sense of dread or fear in their presence. Others report feeling a sense of curiosity or intrigue. There are many theories about the nature of shadow people and what they might represent. Some people believe that they are a sign of impending doom or a harbinger of bad luck, while others believe that they are a manifestation of our subconscious fears and anxieties. Despite the lack of scientific evidence, the phenomenon of shadow people continues to be a popular topic of discussion among paranormal enthusiasts. Many people report seeing these mysterious figures and have shared their stories online and in various paranormal communities. While the existence of shadow people remains a mystery, their popularity in the paranormal world is unlikely to wane anytime soon. Whether they are the result of the human mind trying to make sense of the unexplainable or a real phenomenon that we have yet to fully understand, shadow people continue to capture the imagination of people around the world.
Visitors have reported hearing strange noises, feeling an inexplicable sense of dread, and some have even reported being touched by unseen hands. Some have speculated that these occurrences are connected to the tragic history of the bridge. In recent years, the bridge has become a popular destination for paranormal investigators and thrill-seekers. Many people have tried to capture evidence of the paranormal activity, and some have even claimed to have experienced it themselves. Some paranormal investigators have captured electronic voice phenomena recordings, which are believed to be the voices of spirits, as well as photographs and videos of ghostly apparitions. However, the bridge's popularity has also brought unwanted attention. The haunting of Goatman's Bridge has captured the imaginations of many people for over a century. While some dismiss it as a legend or a hoax, others have reported experiencing strange and unexplainable occurrences at the site. Regardless of its authenticity, the legend of Goatman's Bridge has become an important part of the local folklore and a popular destination for those seeking to experience the supernatural. Many paranormal researchers have said that the Goatman's Bridge along with various other sites across the United States, show signs of residual hauntings. Residual haunting is a type of paranormal activity that is said to occur when the energy or emotions of past events are imprinted on a location, creating a recording that can be played back and observed by witnesses. This phenomenon is often associated with traumatic or emotionally charged events. Residual hauntings are believed to be different from other types of paranormal activity such as intelligent hauntings, in that the energy or imprint is not a conscious or intelligent presence. Instead, it is more like a playback of a past event, similar to a tape recording or a movie. There are several theories about how residual hauntings occur. Some suggest that intense emotional energy is released during traumatic events, which can somehow imprint itself on the surrounding environment. Others believe that the energy of a person's thoughts or emotions can imprint itself on the environment, particularly if those thoughts or emotions are intense or repeated over a long period of time. One of the most famous examples of residual haunting is the Battlefield Ghosts at Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Many visitors to the battlefield report seeing ghostly soldiers marching across the field or hearing the sounds of battle echoing through the woods. Other examples of residual hauntings include ghostly apparitions of people going about their daily business in old buildings, or the sound of footsteps or other noises that repeat themselves over and over again. So, what do you make of these mysterious locations? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.